What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Lockdown 23 and 1. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of you already know I got some new content coming your way today. People doing stuff that's not a crime, but it should be. I got a lot of clips, and also I got a lot, a lot of little uh, humdingers to throw in there that really doesn't have anything to do with anything. They're just going to be funny as hell, so prepare for the ride, ladies and gentlemen. Buckle your seatbelt, tap that like, subscribe, notification bell, even if you don't enjoy. Like that reverse psychology there? Anyways, let's get into it. <laughs> Where's your mask, sir? Mask okay. It's okay. It's her house. Where's your mask, sir? Where's your mask? House. It's her house. Which whose house? Oh, yeah. She's responsible for this. It's her house. She's responsible for this. <laughs> Put your hands behind your back, ma'am. Put your hands behind your back right now. You can't pay the fine, you're gonna pay some way. You can't tell me your best friend is dumber than mine. Yo, can you arrest me so I can sit with my best friend? No. Oh, bro. Shut the f up. It's not even a joke anymore, bro. It's never been a joke. It's never been a joke. I've always been your best friend. I'll ride to hell with you, man. What would y'all do? Would y'all ask the same question? Lock me up, officer, so I can go chill with my best friend. I ain't never seen no shit like that in my life. You hear his homeboy? He's like, man, you're a freaking idiot. Uh, this is what a Cat D prison looks like. I don't know what Cat... Damn! Rewind? What the hell's a Cat D and what? He got a damn Dolby Digital surround sound better than the courts. Xbox 360 or Xbox One? I don't know, I'm not an Xbox user. Playstationers, unite. He got Febreze? <laughs> He's got Febreze, ladies and gentlemen. What else he got up here, what is that? Looks like a damn scented aroma, uh, 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 what do you call them things, humidifiers? He's got a Sony Bravia. I didn't even know they made Sony Bravias this small, but hey, they got it in Cat D prison. What else he got? He got some drapes. <laughs> what? Full grown plants and everything. Man, that's a nice prison yard. Shit, that's nicer than some of the houses I lived in growing up. I don't know what Cat D prison is, but someone can look it up for me. It's probably some overseas in Ireland shit where dudes get life, but they, they can still drive to and fro everywhere. They, they still get license and cars. They go grocery shopping and shit. They do anything. The same thing. You just got to report back to their damn Hilton. This guy, ladies and gentlemen, is... Probably one of my favorite comedians. Prepare yourselves, because he can get a little racy. Arizona State Penitentiary, real popular. <laughs> oh man, it was strange, because it's like 80% black people. And what's strange about that is that there are no black people in Arizona. <laughs> and I was up there, and I, I looked at all the brothers, and it made my heart ache. You know, it's all these beautiful black men in the joint, God. Warriors should be out there helping the masses. And I, I felt that way. I was real naive, right? And six weeks I was up there, I talked to the brothers, you know, and I talked to them. And thank God we got penitentiaries. <laughs> <laughs> that fool's crazy, man. Rest in peace, bro. Rest in peace. Richard Pryor, ladies and gentlemen, one of the greatest that ever lived. My cousin sent me a birthday gift from prison. Ladies and gentlemen, this thing is nasty. Whoever did that, man, props to you, bro, because that shit is talent. Takes time, too, and that's all you got. Behind those walls is time. In prison, if someone calls you a goof, you have to fight them. No matter what. You can't back down, because if you back <laughs> down, people will start bullying you. Your close friends that you made in prison will have to distance themselves from you. You just won't have a good time in prison, right? And... It basically just means get out or fight, right? That's what goof means. Get out or fight. Look, that might, that's just a West Coast thing, ladies and gentlemen, because you come over to the East Coast, you call me goofy, I'm going to look at you like, bro, is that supposed to hurt me? <laughs> I, I didn't even hear the term goofy except for like Disney, watching Disney, you know, Goof Troop and stuff like that. 
I, I didn't even hear or think of anything, you know, goofy footed skateboarding. Uh, I didn't think that it was a hostile word until I started interviewing cats from California. They take that shit serious. But it is what it is. You know, things are different everywhere you go. But uh, yeah, goof ain't too extreme to me. I'll be goofy any day of the week. The only reason why someone would call you this is because they really hate you. The only reason why you would call someone else this in prison is because you really hate them, right? And you want to, you know, fight each other. That's the only time you ever call someone that. Wow! Prison's so primitive. We're going to fight each other to death because you called me a goofy. And one of the rules of not backing down is because you got to think of it, right? The word goof, the word goof, it's, equi it's equivalent to saying a racial slur to someone, right? It has that much of an impact on an inmate. It's like saying a racist word to an inmate. Thank you at TFit780. If y'all want to go follow him, obviously he's giving up some uh, information about the prison system. He's probably done time over there on the West Coast, but he is cut up like a bag of dope. Like, he's probably definitely giving out some good workout videos. Do some of y'all really get a job as a CEO to find the love of your life? <laughs> Can you imagine those girls are probably actually do do this stuff and uh they go in there and they're just like looking up everybody's profile to see you know their their charges and stuff see which one's about to come home which one's the best look and which one has doesn't have crazy charges i mean it's like a dating game that you have complete control over do female ceos do this i'm almost positive some do i mean they wouldn't be joking about it if they didn't but it's funny how she's reacted to it How y'all doing? Now, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, uh, people doing stuff that's not a crime, but it probably should be. I don't know. This is probably a crime. I don't know if he got caught, but what is he even doing up there? What? What is he doing? This guy gotta be drunk. So I'm guessing this is like the luggage area of the airport. I've never been, you know, on a plane, so I don't know too much about this stuff, but he's hanging on. Oh, there goes a shoe. <laughs> Bro, your shoe. <laughs> Grab it, man. <laughs> oh, there goes a the shoe. Oh, shit, shoe's gone. Where is he going? Oh, you threw the other shoe off. All right, next up, this guy uh, definitely did not commit crime, I don't believe, but his stupidity should definitely uh, uh, be one. Walking out the car. About to get on the boat, enjoy a nice little fishing trip with uh, Uncle Bobby. Oh, bruh, look at your car. Holy shit, he's running fast, so look at him. Is that a Tesla? Shouldn't it be driving itself? Oh. oh. That is so shitty, man. I would have said to myself, damn, it's floating. I might still have a chance. Ladies and gentlemen, if a car does that, is it uh, fixable? You know, if it's completely waterlogged like that, if someone just pulls it out of the water, tows it out the water, uh, and lets it drain or whatever, do you, will it still work? You know, just throw some rice on it or something? I don't know how that how that goes with cars. I know you're not supposed to start them if they fall into water or something, but uh, would you just let it drain out and dry out? I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't, I don't agree with calling the cops on petty shit, but I would have called them this day. What the hell is this guy doing, man? Ain't no damn way, man. Is that even how you're supposed to use that thing? Giddy up. Someone commented, I've been doing this wrong the whole time. What would y'all do if someone started cracking out that workout next to you? It ain't a crime, but it damn sure should be. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is definitely not a crime, but to a lot of people out there, it should definitely be a crime. Let me know in the uh, comments section below if you think it should be. Oh, God. Is he my sugar daddy? I wish. What does he do for a living? Real estate investment? Is that what I read? <laughs> I wish he's my sugar daddy. Get the hell out of here. Look at that damn chandelier. Look at that 
wood up there. Looks like they got that wood from those trees floating in the Amazon. For like the last 200 years, they've been floating at the bottom of the Amazon. You pull them up, they're worth some money, right? Looks like he built his whole damn house out of that shit. I mean, I can understand some young girls out there might have a fetish. You know, they, they like old guys and stuff like that, but... Ain't nobody gonna believe he ain't your sugar daddy. Ain't nobody. Especially with a chandelier like that. And the only thing that's really throwing me off here is his swag, you know, his dance moves. I'm 36 and Donnie's what? She's 36. He's 70, ladies and gentlemen. What do you think? Should it be a crime? 70 years old, huh? Giddy up. Prepare yourself, ladies. And gentlemen, this is a very good self-defense mechanism because there's a lot of guys out there that carry purses as well. You know, those little fanny packs. If you're about to get jacked, this is what you're supposed to do with a purse, fanny pack, book bag. Let's hope and pray that you have something like this near you so you could do it. Bing! They tried to take her stuff. She threw it over a wall so they couldn't get it. She's smart. That's called quick thinking, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> What do y'all think of that? Hmm? Ladies, got a purse and you're next to a high wall or something or a, a store. You see someone trying to come jack your purse. Just wing that shit in there, man. Let them go get it. I'll throw my shit in the damn Hudson River before I let someone else get it. You know what I mean? Jump in there if you want to, bruh. She really tried to run. Oh, goodness. Running's not a crime, ladies and gentlemen, but this one definitely is a crime running from the police. Don't do it, especially if you can't run 40 yards in less than 10 minutes. Please. Fence, let's go. Fence, Sophie! I would have outran the shit out of that cop, though. I could tell right now by his forearms, I would have dusted his ass off. Pew! I would have went straight in the store out the back door. I would have been running so damn fast, the cameras and all the brand new facial recognition technology couldn't catch up.